Good morning, everybody. It is a gloomy Memorial Day in Minnesota. And first off, I want to uh, spend a time just to, to think about those who have paid the ultimate price, paying for our freedom, ensuring our freedom, and to uh, send my thoughts and prayers out to the family of those who have served our country and gone before us. Um, I try to make sure that I I don't treat Memorial Day as just a an extra day to go grilling or to take the time off to mow the lawn, but to, to think about those who who sacrificed for us. So my thanks to all of you. Um, second of all, it is Memorial Day and I do have the day off, so I'm going to fix this tractor and uh, hopefully mow the field. I also want to give my thanks to those guys at uh, mytractorforum.com as well as my grandpa Robert N. Prips, the authority on all things tractor. Wrote many, many books. And uh, Josh Matthews, he offered some really good suggestions too. If you'll remember from my last video, this tractor would run at idle nicely, but not go any faster than idle. And I determined it is probably error in the fuel system, which means that back here, and I think this one is the fuel pickup. It's probably rotted off in the tank. And when the uh, fuel line gets too low, it just starts sucking air. And so it sucks air up to here. Where you can see that the fuel filter is only partially filled full of fuel. So what I'm going to do is I topped off the tank. And for now, I just want to get it running so that I can mow the jungle and uh, I'll bring it back in and I have some more stuff I want to do to it I want to replace the filter I got a new filter um, change the oil got a new oil filter and then back here down in that little hole there you can see the little dash of yellow is the uh, transmission fluid filter so pick up some fluid some low viscosity high guard for the John Deere 332 and uh, I'll replace that. But first things first, I gotta stop the bleeding, so to speak, and get out there to mow the knee high grass. All right, so what I'm going to do to bleed the filter is there's a bleed screw up top here. All I need to do is turn on the key so that the fuel pump starts clicking, like so. And then with the 10 millimeter wrench, yes I said 10 millimeter, even though it is a born in America John Deere tractor, it's a Japanese Yanmar diesel engine, so I believe that's why it's got a metric screw. So I just put it on there, hold the rag underneath it so that when it starts spewing diesel at me, I'll catch some of it. I just crack the, crack the screw. Level starts coming up slowly, you can see there. I'll just hold the uh, hold the rag there. Wait for it to start bleeding out. Oh, here it comes. Drip, drip, drip. Well, the manual said to do it until it ran clear, no bubbles. It seems to be doing just that, so I'll stop there. Now the reservoir, is a, the, the vial is all full of diesel instead of air as it was before. And there's another screw here. I don't think I have to bleed that one, but there is this one here that I'm going to bleed as well in case there's some air in here. Right. Should I drop that? I do love the smell of diesel fuel. That is good stuff. Shut there. Yeah, you're in the shot. Like so. Dribble, 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 dribble. Looks pretty clear. Tighten her back up. Shut her down. Alright, let's see what she does. So 
some tutorials say that you should crack the um, injector lines too to let those bleed, but I have a feeling that those are probably okay. Just gonna cycle this here. said to just turn it on and let it idle for as long as she'll suffer and the air will work itself out. I don't know if that's going to be the case. That's what I'm going to attempt. Sounding a little better so far. Still sounds a little weak, honestly. Starting to sound a little better, though. I think it's enough to get the lawn mode, so we'll go with it. It's raining. Have a memorable Memorial Day, everybody. <laughs>